I urge you, Mr. President and the FIFA Council, to put this matter to a vote for the FIFA Congress. This is not a matter to be postponed till the October FIFA Council. It is a matter for vote today. I urge you to take action. Mr. President, um, I don't think we are here to discuss the injustices that are happening. Uh, the United Nations have issued, uh, there are several United Nations regulations broken by Israel, the state of Israel. There are nine rulings from the International Criminal Court uh, for a plausible genocide. The U.S. Secretary of State called it a genocidal war in Gaza. We are not here to deliberate on the atrocities and the human tragedies happening. I think the world community has already done that. And the argument of the president of the Israel Football Association is not proportional. 45,000 innocent civilians have lost their lives over six months. We're not here to deliberate on the human tragedy. We are here to take a vote. The world is witnessing what FIFA will do today. What the international football community will do today. FIFA has stood on the right side of history before, when it banned Yugoslavia, when it banned Russia, and when it banned South Africa for more than 20 years. And I think we have a role to take today. I urge you, Mr. President and the FIFA Council, to put this matter to a vote for the FIFA Congress. This is not a matter to be postponed till the October FIFA Council. It is a matter for vote today. I urge you to take action. Thank you.